Okay. It's the first time I'm going to use the sand top chest mount with a GoPro. I got the GoPro 10 here on the handlebar on my bicycle, on my bike. And I'm going to try this cheaper alternative than the official GoPro chest mount and see how it looks like. So far I've been using the head mount but it doesn't give you a real FOV perspective, it's just too high and you don't actually see the front of the bike so this should be a better option so let's try it on Somehow I got it. That was awkward. Probably should. And somebody is watching me. So that's even more awkward. Let's see. I need to tighten this up. It's not tight enough. It's not tight enough. It's all right. We need the quick release mount that goes right in here and the GoPro. So let's screw this off and mount the GoPro. recording okay one two three and that's my hero 10 mount still recording so let's try it on looks awkward a little bit I'm not sure how it look like It's not very long, see? Feels alright. Okay. One more thing, we need to turn it off and fix the angle and turn I press move to on. Fix the angle a little bit.
see how it looks like. I think the contour should be a little higher, like that. As I'm leaning forward, it should be like that. Okay, let's focus on the rope. Oh, I think the angle is not right. I think it's too. Crazy how much adjustment you need to do. Probably. To properly put the frame on you. It's not obvious as you see on the videos. It's still too low. Just hope the wide angle is enough to record the footage. Let's go from here. because it's a long footage I don't have to I don't want to deal with 20 gigabytes of file and I will review the footage now to see if the correct angle is enough this is where we need the widest angle Okay, second ride after adjusting the angles of the GoPro as much as I can and we'll see how it looks like. Let's go. All right. is that you don't have a much much tilt upwards so I still think I'm tilting the camera now as high as I can get tilting upwards but it's already touching the plastic holder so I do have an extended uh, arm that I can mount on the chest mount but it will make everything I think less steady so I prefer it to be this way if it's enough as the way it is right now this the, the handlebar camera I can adjust as much as I want no issues here Here. It's been a while since I've been here. Yeah. So this is in the right angle, the Hero 10, but the chest mount with the Hero 11, I'm not sure. Very cool nonetheless. And 
and this is all part of my preparation for my bike riding next year that's the plan the solution there is a solution to remain with this mount did it fall? why did it fall? really? did it really fall off the bump? it did alright so where was I? forgot yeah the solution to remain with that angle, tilt angle, the quick release mode on the GoPro is to change the, the camera angle to hyper view and not wide view as it is right now. That's the solution. Why is it tilting so easily? I mean, seriously, wait a second. Why? Are you tilting so easily? Are you serious? Okay, now it's more secure. A little bit more secure. Yeah, so if I have a wider view, I'm not sure about the upward view because what not enough for me is the this part right here this is what not enough for me there is another solution is to use either 4x3 perspective or 8x7 perspective which you have of the Hero 11 especially the 8x7 will give me a more area to feel but this perspective, the 8x7 and 5.3k so you have to tighten the screw here on the handlebar mount way tighter than you think it is you think it's tight enough but it's not I think this is the right way, but when I ride, I'm leaning like that. I don't know if you can hear that annoying clicking sound coming from the front wheel. It's annoying as hell and I'm not sure what it is. But I think for sure that the chest mount give you a more accurate FOV perspective rather than the head mount, which is just way too high and you don't really see an FOV perspective, it's just too high perspective. So you either have a 
a chest mount or a helmet chin mount and those are the best FOV perspective tag itchy boots yeah itchy boots uses Helmet chin mount and it's a great FOV, FOV perspective. The chest mount is a little bit lower. But it's still pretty good if the angle is second stop the shootout nine minutes we'll see if the hyperview on the hero 11 is more capable to capture the upwards view of my bike let's roll yeah so Hero 11 is on hyperview, Hero 10 is wide view, which is the usual view that I use. Let me say that there's actual big disadvantage of the chest mount or any mount that goes in this area which is not your head let me stop here for a second uh, because if you actually make a conclusion this area is not an actual F of B perspective because whatever you turn your head left or right this is the actual F of V you want to point you want to point at the direction your head is looking at and chest mount doesn't give you that you just point at whatever your body point at and obviously you're not going to do that better solution for the head mount I put it on the headrest on my seat on my passenger seat and this way you can have a, a very good perspective of uh, driving and you don't have to put it on your head and it's quite heavy and you're worried about it being secured so I just put it on my headrest on my passenger side now I'm testing four by three aspect ratio in 4K 30 30 frames a wide angle on both standard stabilization on the Hero 10 
true stabilization possible, but it gives a crop, so I don't want a crop. Uh, I think a uh, standard will be fine. I think standard will be fine. Nice bike. And the Hero 11 on the other hand, same resolution, wide angle. He does have hyper smooth stabilization possible and boost stabilization and auto boost stabilization possible. I left it on hyper smooth on on, which is perfectly fine. And what else? What else? What else? Well, we'll see how this perspective looks like. The 4x3 should give me more um, upwards and downwards possibilities where I can crop to 16x9 and make it full HD resolution. But I can choose where to crop. I can choose where to crop. So it's more flexibility. I even got more flexibility with 8 by 7 aspect ratio on the Hero 11, but the GoPro Hero 10 doesn't have that. So to make it even, I chose 4 by 3 with both. Personally, I think it's a better option. It gives you more flexibility to choose where to crop. And on this perspective, on my perspective, you want the upwards and downwards angles much more than you want the Y angles. a little comparison between the two I don't know how much longer I can record because the Hero 11 is starting to get really low on battery and I'm shooting in 4K right now and actually 4K 4K on an aspect ratio of 4 by 3 is actually as it stated a resolution of 4000 by 3000 pixels which is higher resolution than the standard 4K that we use Sure, if you crop it, will it be cropped to a standard 4K resolution or to 16x9? I'm not sure. I think if you crop it to 16x9, it will turn out to be a full HD resolution and not 4K resolution because it doesn't make any sense. A lot of cars driving around here on a Saturday. It should be much quieter. Someone else got a bike in here. 
But why would you leave it like that? No one can steal it, man. I'm not sure how much battery left I have on my GoPro 11. I hope it has the function to save the clip before the battery dies. But with the GoPro, I'm not very sure. It's not a very reliable camera, even though it's the latest one. The latest and greatest. Don't disappoint me, GoPro. Any camera should have a functionality that just before it dies it will have enough power to save the clip and then die. That's the sense right here. But I don't think I will stop the video here. Yeah. I just made it through here. I'm not sure how the Hero 10 handling all those bumps on the road with the standard stabilization. I think it should be it will be a little bit shaky much more than the hyper usual hyper smooth. But I will, I didn't want to have the boost on. I didn't have want to have a crop image. I want to have the same image resolution and wideness. <laughs> 